Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and good afternoon. My name is Puriya Tarapudi. I am Microsoft and Microtech official trainer, and I'm also supervisor and technical manager of Nedagostar Sabo company. Today, I want to show you how to implement Layer 3 PPPoE and inter VLAN routing our Microtech devices. So please be with me. I hope it's be informative and useful for you. Before we are starting this implementation, we need, we need to know some basic concepts. At first, what is the PPPoE? PPPoE, or point-to-point -point protocol of our Ethernet, is a layer two network protocol that used for encapsulating PPP frames inside the Ethernet frames. It used mainly with DSL services where individual users connected to, uh, to a DSL modem of our Ethernet. As you know, Ethernet networks are packet-based and have no capacity for a connection or circuits. They also lack basic uh, security features to protect against IP and MAC conflict and rogue DHCPs. Uh, so most internet uh, service provider uh, separate their user traffic to several VLANs. Now, imagine that our network topology is something like this. It means that we have a call center with a CCR as a PPPoE server that's connected to the internet and the metro point to multipoint. And also we have um, some branches with individual VLANs and uh, subnets, with individual subnets, and uh, a microtech router board to help them to connect to Metro PTMP and call center. Now, I have a question. Is it possible to implement PPPPoE? That's a layer two services of a multi-subnet network. Is it possible? Let me answer myself. Yes, it's possible by using VPLS or EOIP tunnel. VPLS is uh, behind my presentation scope, so I escape it and ignore it, and I focus on point to uh, I focus on EOIP tunnel. But what is the EOIP tunnel? EOIP tunnel or Ethernet over IP tunneling is a macrotic router OS protocol that create an Ethernet tunnel between two routers on top of an IP connection. The UIP tunnel may run our IP IP tunnel, PPTP tunnel, or any other connection capable of transporting IP. But remember that UIP tunnel at least added 42 bytes overhead. So you should to consider your connection MTU size. Sometimes, in addition to PPPoE connection, you may need to have a layer three communication between your branches, for example, for managing your devices. In this case, uh, you may use inter-VLAN routing. Now, if you're ready, let's go to implementing PPPoE of a EOIP tunnel and branches inter-VLAN routing. As a first step, for inter-VLAN routing, we need to create uh, some VLAN interfaces on a core router for each branches. So under VLAN tab, we create uh, VLAN interfaces for each branches. There is two important points in VLAN interfaces creation. First, VLAN ID and second, interfaces. VLAN ID is the branch VLAN and interfaces is the port that is connected to Metro PTMP, okay? After that, as I uh, told you before, we need to assign an IP addresses to these interfaces, to these VLAN interfaces. But uh, uh, please pay attention that these IP addresses use uh, as a default gateway in branches, okay? So under IP, address, we assign each interfaces an IP address, and finally we use them as a default gateway in branches. Now, in each branches, 
we need to set an IP addresses on a port that is connected to Metro PTMP. For example, here, ETL5 is directly connected to Metro PTMP. So we assign an IP address on it. And after that, as I mentioned before, we set a uh, default gateway uh, here for each branches. But remember, this default gateway is the core router uh, sub-interfaces, or is it the core router inter VLAN uh, interfaces IP address, okay? Now, uh, inter VLAN implementation finished. It's really easy on, uh, on Mikrotik. So uh, if uh, now uh, you ping uh, any branches uh, each other, uh, they can uh, access to uh, each other and they can communicate to each other. Now let's go to creating and configuring EIP tunnels. So in each branches, including core router, we need to create an EIP tunnel. So in uh, EIP tunnel tab, we create an EIP tunnel in each branches and also in core router. There is, again, two important points in EIP tunnel creation. First, remote address, and second, tunnel ID. Remote address is the IP address of the other side. For example, uh, it means that if uh, you want to uh, implement uh, an EIP tunnel on a branch microtic, you should set the IP address of the core microtic as a remote address here. And tunnel ID. Tunnel ID is a, a number and is a, an ID that uh, should be equal in two sides. For example, if you type here 119 uh, as a tunnel ID in a call microtic, you should set it again, uh, it means 119 as a tunnel ID in a branch microtic 2. Now, for using this EIP tunnel, we need to bridge it with the interfaces that are directly connected to uh, end users. For example, here, ethel 3 is directly connected to PPOE client. So I bridge it with the uh, AIP tunnel that I created before. Now, uh, client sound configuration finished. And uh, we should come back to call router and uh, bridge all EIP tunnels, all branch EIP tunnels together. But here's a problem. Bridging all EIP tunnels together make a big broadcast domain, and it's not good for our network because it imposes high unwanted traffic to our network. So we use bridge filters to compensate it. Okay? It means that under bridge filters, we create a bridge rule that, for example, says if uh, any tagged, any 191 tagged traffic want to cross from any EOIP tunnels except this EOIP tunnel, it's not. Except this EOIP tunnel, it should be dropped. It compensates uh, and uh, solves our problem. Now that we provide a layer two interfaces, we should to configure our PPPoE server. So as a first step, we need an IP pool to assign IP addresses to our clients. So under IP pool, we create an IP pool. After that, we need to create a PPPP profile to apply our configuration to our customers. So under PPP profile, we create a PPP profile and use the IP pool that we created before as a remote address. Now, as you know, for connecting to our router, we need a username and password. So under PPP secret, we create a username and password, and in a profile box, we use the profile that we created before. Finally, 
we need to enable and configuring PPPoE server. So under PPPPoE server, we create a PPPoE server and on a bridge interfaces. Attention, please. We create a PPPPoE server on a bridge uh, interfaces and uh, set the profile that uh, we created before as a default profile here. Okay, finish. It's real easy. Now, if you create a PPPPoE connection or create a broadband connection on each uh, branches, you can access to your uh, call out there and you can uh, access to the internet. It was layer three PPPoE uh, implementation and interview and routing on a macro tick order world. It was really easy. Okay, now if you have any question, I'm here to answer you. Do you have any question? Yeah. Telecommunication company, Metro PTMP, or telecommunication company, is the owner of um, these links. Okay, any other question? No question? Okay, thank you for your time and goodbye.